Hello everyone. Before starting, let me introduce myself to those of you who don't know me. I'm Jose Sanchez from SPL. We have been involved in talk technical activities since the first version of the protocol. We developed the first version of the tool and now we are developing the second version of the tool and writing the certification spec after being involved also in the talk to definition. We will spend our time in three sessions. First, we will see a demo of the certification tool, showing you how to use it and how it can help you with the implementation of Talk2 in your product. Second, I will show you some of the available existing tools for accelerating your developing process, generating code from the Talk2 open API files or even documentation. As an example, we will see some solutions generating code for different languages. Lastly, we will have an interactive session where we would like to cover the main services or topics of the protocol, explaining how it works and how it could fit with your product. So let's start. During this first part of the presentation, I will describe the tool and you will be able to see a real demo from the installation of the software to a real test session. As you know, the tool is actually three tools in one, a diagnostic tool or pass-through test, a gateway certification tool and a CMS certification tool. The diagnostic tool is a kind of man-in-the-middle software that sniffs every message between a gateway and a CMS and gives information about its correctness. It helps to debug messages and solves the payloads in a user-friendly way. The session data is stored in a signed XML document which can be downloaded or read from the tool for its analysis. The certification tool for both types of products, gateway and CMS, performs a set of test cases based on the declare profile during the setup. The result of these test cases is shown during the certification session. The tool helps to identify issues, reporting each step of the test and showing issues detected, at the same time that the message sends and, and receive between both endpoints are shown. The tool plays the opposite endpoint role for each type of product. As in the diagnostic tool, the session data is stored in a signed XML document which can be downloaded from the tool. This document is required to be sent to the TOL certification workgroup in order to achieve the certification. Each test case description can be read in order to know what the tool is expecting from your software. So, let's get starting. So the tool can be downloaded from the Tor Consortium website. It's, it's a zip file and you can see it here in my directory. So let me unzip it. Go inside this new directory and run it. Here it is. First thing that we see is the list of products, which is empty now, as you can imagine. And first of all, let me go again to the presentation and show you the scenario we're going to, to see within the demo. demo. So um, we, we have two, two, two servers, uh, a gateway and a CMS I've developed, uh, which are a, a tiny gateway and CMS with a few features only. The diagnostic tool and Postman application, uh, which I will use uh, in order to compose my requests. So any request uh, which is done from Postman to the CMS will travel through the diagnostic tool and any request uh, which is sent to the gateway uh, will pass through the diagnostic tool also. So let's go again to the tool and let's um, 
let's check that the the URLs for the gateway and CMS are well uh, configured then. Okay, you can see them. That's okay, so let's go to the password test, start if dropping, and let's compose. We're going to test the gateway. So as the Postman application, we play the CMS role. Let's copy this URL to the clipboard. So Postman will ask this URL for our request, which could be uh, give me all the devices. We send a request. We receive some data, but the tool is complaining about something at the request. We can see that there is no CMS identifier. The client address parameter is missing, uh, and we have problems also with missing header headers. Um, Set a talk API version and content type. So let's fix it. Let's put um, talk API API version, which could be 2.0.1, content type, the application JSON and the parameter, which uh, should be, let's uh, see the the CMS address could be that one, which is the client address. So let's put here the client address parameter with this value. And it seems that um, it's correct now, the, 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 the request. Let's uh, play with this request, which instead of a GET request, we want to use a post but without a body so let's see what happened we send the same request and it seems that there is an error here and it says hey uh, a JSON payload is missing in fact it says a JSON array text must start with a with a character here so uh, we could also see uh, the description for this conformance check which we can see here in this uh, certification spec so um, we could we could see also for for all the requests and responses which uh, conformance checks are are tested against each request and, and response. As you can see, there are many for for the request. We could filter by some string inside the payloads, and and we could see only the fail the past one or the failed one ones. So that's all for the pass-through test. Now that we have started to see how we can analyze and validate all the messages between a gateway and a CMS, let's continue with the certification tools. Now please remember the scenario we are testing. The gateway is listening on port 2000, while the CMS is listening on port 3000. Both endpoints will be interacting with uh, our certification tool and I will use Postman to ask my products to do something. I will use this data to configure the endpoints at the tool. So let's come back to the tool and first of all let's create a, a gateway. So we select a type, put it in name, and we could put some notes also uh, because this information will be present at the product capability list and the certification recession results which the tool produces so it could be used for marketing purposes or, or whatever what we what we are doing now is to declare our product profile this profile is used by the tool in order to select the test cases to be performed or even what to test inside each test case. That means that everything declared here that can be tested will be tested and everything announced by your product which is not declared here will be considered a failure. Below the basic data we see four tabs, functions, services, objects and security. So let's start with functions. In this tab, we must declare which functions are supported by your product. 
and which attributes are supported in each of them. You'll see that some of them are not selectable and this is because they are mandatory attributes and they must be supported. So for now let's configure our gateway with basic function and inside it let's say that it supports asset ID, display name, software version which is a mandatory attribute so it has to be supported anyway and time zone. We have to declare also which events are supported by uh, this function. So here we will see uh, device reset, which is mandatory, cabinet door open, battery set down, and location update. We are not going to configure any other function since my gateway um, is really simple. But you can see here that there are many other functions to be supported, uh, to be configured, sorry, and many more uh, will come with the second phase of the tool. So let's continue with services. The services tabs, uh, the services tab allow us to declare what is supported in each service. So let's declare the control service, and let's say that our gateway will support two active periods, which are absolute active period and astro clock active period. Let's continue with objects. In objects tab, uh, we can see all the different top, uh, talk objects, such as lamp type, groups and commands that our product uh, will support. Let's finish with security. In this tab, we can uh, enable or disable the security. If we enable the security then we will need also to provide a, an a, a SL, a SSL certificate file. As you know TOC requires a mutual authentication or two ways of authentication so we need also the client key. Furthermore as in TOC2 its endpoint is also a server so we will need it anyway. So let's click save and let's repeat the process for the CMS. We put it a name, company, but this time we need to enter something new which is the uh, URL, the CMS URL. Since in talk the gateway is always the in point starting the booster process, this URL must be provided uh, in the tool so let's configure our CMS URL, which was HTTP localhost 3000. And let's keep it like that, because the, uh, the CMS has a lot of functions which are mandatory, so we can, we can save it like that. At this point, we have two products created, and we can start uh, showing what the tools uh, the tool offers for the certification. If we click the select product drop down list, we can see all the products we have configured in the tool and we can select the test gateway. So we will enter into the certification tool for our just configured product. And as you can see, we don't have any session saved. So we're going to start a session. The first step the tool performs is asking us to configure our gateway with a CMS URI in order to start the test. So let's copy it. And let's click yes. So as you can see the tool is waiting for our gateway to start the bootstrap process by waiting for a, an add devices request. So I'm going to use again Postman to ask my gateway to start the bootstrap. So I use this little API I will ask I will ask my gateway to to send the bootstrap to this URL, which is the tool tools URL, and the task is bootstrap and security disabled for now. Okay, so let's send this request. You can see that something is happening here, and 
the certification fails. And what the tool says is that uh, the gateway has announced a service, a control service with value 10 for the option maximum calendars, which is different from the value declared by the vendor, which is null. We can see here the message that, as you can see here, my gateway announced a maximum calendar of 10, but the, the tool is not, this is not declared in the profile. So let's go again to products. Let's edit our test uh, gateway profile. Let's go to services, control services, and put 10 as maximum calendar. Save and repeat the process. Okay. Let me first of all clear all the devices in my gateway and start the bootstrap again. Okay, so, well, as I told you, my, my gateway has only some features developed uh, to, for this demo, but you can see that two uh, tests has been passed with all the reporting inside the, the test and all the messages that have been interchanged between the tool and, and the gateway. As with the pass-through test, you can always see what is the tool expecting for your product by clicking this small question mark. Then you can go to the, to the test case specification and, and you can see all the steps that are performed uh, the tool is waiting for the gateway announcement and all this part of the of the protocol okay so let's try now with the CMS so as you can see here, the user interface is exactly the same uh, that for the gateway certification tool, except for the list of test cases and the way this session is performed. So when I click start, the tool uh, asks me to be sure that the CMS is listening where I said it was doing it. And then the tool starts the bootstrap process. You can see here all the steps and the last step is that the tool is waiting for a partial update device from my CMS in order to finish the booster process so I'm going to to ask my CMS to do it thanks to Postman first I will copy the device address for this patch device and then put it here Okay, so the session continues and the tool asks me to do something manually. Uh, he wants me to create a control program in my CMS so that it can check if the CMS handles correctly this request. I'm going to stop here to give you some more time for Q&A. So Q&A.